Okay, so this question is all about iteration. And basically an iterate, iterative formula or iteration formula is one that gets you closer and closer to a solution. It will never quite get there, but it gets you closer and closer to a solution. Or it gets you further and further away, and some of them do. Um, so you will always be given an iteration formula if you're asked to do uh, iteration. Um, so we're given one here. To get to the next number, we do 13 minus root x. Um, so that tells us how to get to the next one, the closer answer. And normally these will, will get closer and closer. Otherwise, it's very silly to do it because you'll just end up with very big numbers. So we it tells us here to start at 2. It says, right, start at 2 and then work from there. And the iteration formula, or iterative formula, tells us how to get to the next one. Now, have your calculator out, because it's a calculator question. I'm going to ask you to do something weird. What you're going to do is you're going to press 2 and then equals. Now, it equals 2, so the calculator just says 2. But this next step is, is actually pretty clever with these calculators. You can type in 13 minus square root answer. And on calculators, it's normally ANS, or um, some of them, they write the word answer. Now, when you press equals, it will give us the answer, so that's great. So, and so you might need to press S to D to make it a decimal. So we write down the answer, 11.5857, blah, blah, blah. But the clever bit is, if you press equals again, it will give you the next answer. So in this time... 9.596 blah 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 and just keep pressing equals 9.9022 blah 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 equals again 9.85321 blah 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 equals again 9.86 it's getting close you can see equals again now you might be wondering where we stop. Well, it says it wants two decimal places, so we stop when we get the same uh, rounding. Now, you can see here that both of the last two would round to 9.86, so we could stop now, but I'm just going to go a little bit further to see what happens. And you can see again, it's it's it, every time you press equals, and you can just keep pressing equals, it will just get closer and closer to a number. Now, it might appear on the calculator that it stays at the same number at a point, but actually the number that's changing is so far down the stack or so far down the decimal places that you just can't see it anymore when you press equals enough. So my answer will be 9.86. But like a lot of questions on the exam, it's the working out that gives you the mark. So you have to show all the stages, your x1, your x2, your x3, x4, x5, x6, uh, and then we did the next seven just for the heck of it.